you recently appeared in a video trying to encourage people to learn computer programming and coding. Do you think that in the near future, computer programming is going to be just as important as learning a, a foreign language in, in K through 12? Or learning the language of code, learning computer, computing? Well, I think more kids should learn to program. I wouldn't say that we should impose that on everyone. Uh, you know, the fact of understanding how the computer works gives you a real sense of what it can do and what it can't do. There's a lot of great jobs out there, you know, and, and so we, we don't have programming enough on the curriculum. But I certainly wouldn't put it at, at you know, like math or, or literacy. Um, uh, but, you know, it, 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 there is a lot of innovative stuff that make it more interesting. It's not just for nerds like it was when, when I did it. And, and this trend towards remote learning and, and education increasingly online, uh, it, does the, do the same rules apply for the office? We recently saw Marissa Meyer, she spoke uh, about how people needed to be in the office for collaboration. Uh, do you believe that's, that's the case for business? Well, it depends very much on the, the job category. The general trend has been uh, to give employees more flexibility, uh, and, and so that specific example is somewhat counter-trend. Uh, it doesn't, you don't want to go to the, the total extreme. A lot of jobs require face-to-face -face, uh, collaboration, but you know, we, if you've got development centers all over the world, you've got a sales force that's out with the customers, the fact that uh, you know, tools like Skype and uh, digital collaboration are letting people work better at a distance, you know, that is a, a wonderful thing. And there's just more and more of that flexibility. And the Council on Foreign Relations, they, they said that education is a national security issue. Uh, do, you, do you agree on that? Well, the strength of the U.S. is based on its economy and innovation. And you can't expect that to stay strong when we have a education system that's way, way behind. You know, our, our salaries, uh, our currency won't stay strong. And so everything, our ability to afford a, the world's best military, our ability to be an exemplar for the entire world where they look and say, you know, please solve health care so we can follow along. That pattern of letting the U.S. lead and solve tough problems for the last 50 years has been a wonderful thing for the world. So, you know, everybody's rooting that in education and uh, uh, areas that we're having a tough time that we do find the solution. So, uh, you know, in the long run, uh, our, our influence will be greatest if we take what, what allowed us to get ahead, which is a great education system, and go back and, and make it one of the best. And, and last best interest, I know we got to wrap it up. You just visited UT, right? See anything there that was just really interesting? Because you're, you're very hands-on, you're, you're in, and you're really on the ground trying to look at, at some of these changes. Anything interesting when you went there? Well, UT Austin is uh, uh, one of the top computer science schools. It actually is more than doubled its enrollment over the last five years. Uh, it's got uh, more Hispanics than any other school. Uh, it's, uh, it's got great outreach to increase the numbers of women. So both in the diversity front and getting our country uh, to provide enough developers that the jobs can uh, overwhelmingly stay here in, in the U.S., it's great to see. Uh, you know, they have a, a new building that I was involved with, and I got to see all their robotics work and AI work. And, you know, it's always exciting to see the, the innovative student uh, uh, breakthroughs. Robotics and that kind of stuff, is that the next frontier? We've had the computer, we have the smartphone. I mean, what's next for us? Well, the computer will be able to see, it will be able to listen, it will be able to recognize handwriting. And so the distinction between what's <clears throat> sort of a computer that just sits there uh, and it's really a natural part of the environment versus one that you know can move, move things around, uh, yes, robotics are kind of the next extension of the magic of, of software. And uh, you know, all this natural interfaces is, is what makes it more pervasive than just something in the corner with a keyboard.